As a girl who loves going out, hanging out with people that are closest to my heart, meeting new people and discovering new adventures, that is the definition of life for me. Being able to do things that I love, things that satisfies me, and things that validates me. And in order to make that life happen, it includes going out. Land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020, and to end on April 14, 2020. Nobody anticipated this hard time. So hard that I couldn't properly eat and sleep. It gave me so much to worry about. Like, what would happen tomorrow? What are we gonna eat? Am I going to pass these universities I've applied for? And when will these things be over? It attacked my mental health. I couldn't keep going. I even lost my relationship with him. How am I supposed to survive in this state where I couldn't control my mind? As much as possible, I don't want it to call a depression, but it sounds like it. And it led me to opposing my own self. There were times when I couldn't trust my competence, thus enabling my heightened insecurities. I was so frail and vulnerable. However, people would always chant to believe in yourself, which was very cliche to my ears. But it's a fact to be regarded. I have to become the epitome of my own individuality. The slow pace, I was able to adapt. Things have changed, and I passed my dream school. Above all else, I began to see beautiful things within me and learn not to compare my way of coping up in this new normal with other people. Choose what always makes me joyful and look at things with optimism but not oppressing people around me. I got excited again doing things that I love in this new normal and I've decided to learn new skills. sweet little person inside me is back, better than ever. Not to brag things out, but this time has helped me to mature in all aspects of my life. The way I perceive things today are more different than before. I'm a grown-ass person now that clearly knows my responsibility as a citizen, as a daughter, and of course as an individual. Today, I decided to tell you my pandemic life, an era that shaped me to who I am today. This unfinished ride is challenging but definitely a memorable one.